Hi, this is how to install ThoughtOffice for Mac. All right, let's get started. First, you're going to want to download the main application, either from the free demo link here, Macintosh, or from the email you received when you purchased the program. There's a link in there that will get you started as well. Once you've downloaded it, it will show up in your download files, and you can double-click, and that will unarchive it, and it will be right here. So to, to open it from there, double-click the ThoughtOffice setup.dmg. That's a disk image of the Mac. It's going to open up here. Check your volumes. And there you go. So you have ThoughtOffice. This is the application and all of the support folders and files. And this is your applications folder. By simply dragging this over to the applications, it'll install. Now the next move is to go into applications Let's do that, and what we're going to do is we're going to view by there, and we're going to find ThoughtOffice. There it is. All right. You'll open the ThoughtOffice folder, and you'll double-click the application. Okay. It'll ask if you want to open it. You bet you do. So it's going to open. It's going to give you a little icon right here that tells you what it's doing, and ask you if you want to download the newest version. Well, absolutely. So it's downloading now. You can see the little line coming on. And application downloaded. Now it's going to open up the application for you. It's going to ask if you want to upgrade the topics. You bet. So it's going to be a couple of these because we're constantly upgrading the program. And because it's a modular architecture, we can upgrade incremental components one at a time. So this makes it better for you because we can do an upgrade to a component of it without having to upgrade the complete application. All right, now you launch the Ideas Browser. You can see what's available here. These are all of the um, Idea tabs. And then you can also click Topics, and you can install Topic Modules. That'll be covered in a, in a separate uh, video, but uh, you can get an idea. Now, right now, we've got Quick Start, which comes with the program, and you can see how the modules work and how they're expanded and how you can add those to a session, those kinds of things. So this is how you get started. Once you've got your serial number, you can go under Help, and you can go to Registration Info. And just by launching Registration Info, it'll give you a little field, and you can fill in that field with your registration number and your email address and save it, and you'll be ready to go. All right? Hope that's helpful. Thanks so much.